Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. In this week's video, we're gonna be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And this box is coming from Dayton, Ohio. I did a double order. So I have none of my shipping labels on here, but it is from Dayton, Ohio. You guys know I love Dayton and I cannot wait to open this up. First look, I am loving some of this beadwork and it looks like a lot of beads in here today. So this is going to be a really fun box. I'm going to set this to the side. If you are interested in a piece, be sure to check the description where you can find my email and you can also find my shop links. And you guys, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. I will be announcing our May giveaway. You guys know I love doing these free giveaways with you guys. They are always free and just a way to show my appreciation for all the knowledge and support you show on my channel. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of these free giveaways. All right, we've got a nice big pile here. So we're going to push it over just a little bit. And first up, it looks like we're going to have a costume piece with maybe some tangles and some earrings in here as well. All right, first up we have our ugly sweater party little earring. I'm going to start our earring pile with this one. And next we have, it looks like a layered necklace like the chains on it. The chains look clean. It looks wearable. Looks like we're going to have some layering and some tangles in here, but we also have a little locket. So let's open that up. It is empty. Very cute necklace, layered look, got the little plastic jewels on there as well. I'll do this one for $2. And you are going to find your best prices here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to email me with any inquiries. We have a silver colored earring. It is magnetic, so that's not gonna be any sterling silver or precious metal. So we'll add that to the earring pile. We have a vibrant blue flower here, stick pin. I'll do this one for $2. And you guys don't forget to add me on Facebook as well. You guys will get those sneak peeks into our monthly giveaways. You'll also get to see some of my family fun. And we have another silver toned necklace. Let's check for the magnet. All right, it feels a little magnetic. Thinking this is gonna be a costume piece. It's got caught over here on that lock. I'm gonna put this one in a lock for $1. Most lot box pieces will be for $1. If I don't mention a price, just be sure to email me. All right, we got a CG, it looks like. I'm not sure of that brand. I've definitely had it before, but not sure of that brand. I don't think we're looking at any sterling on here as well. But that's why it's so nice to have the magnet, easy way to check, and you don't have to waste any of your acid. That one is magnetic, so it's going to go over to the lot. We're definitely going to have some tangles in here, lots of chains it looks like today. So, no, we broke one. It's so sad when that happens. It's This one is tangled into this pendant necklace, but it also looks like costume. So I'm just going to add all of these to a lot. This would be a great crafting necklace. And I have been getting asked about jewelry jars with just the beads in it. So I will be doing that fairly soon. You guys know that I sold out almost my entire closet the last two weeks. I've sold over, I think, over 200 pounds of jewelry in the last month. So it has been quite the busy time in my shops, but adding on in the next week and adding, of course, those lot boxes as I go. All right, lovely Melifiori necklace. Love that glass look. And I'll do this one for $3. Trying to get all the untangled bits first before we dive into these bigger tangles. Always enjoy 
a wood bead necklace. Love all the earthy tones and the neutrals. So I'll do this one for $3. Now this feels like plastic. I don't think these are gonna be actual stones. We'll test it with the Presidium. Always better to lay your necklaces down before you test them on the Presidium. Yep, those are not giving me any reading. So those are gonna be plastic, but beautiful colors in there. I love, again, all the earth stones. So I'll do this one for $3. These always give me Y2K looks. Bold statement necklaces. And this one actually has a name tag on it once I get it untangled. Let's see what it says. Lane Bryant. So again, definitely give me that Y2K look. Large statement plastic necklace. I'll do this one for $3. All right, get a lot of these. I think this might be Rogers and Sons. Let's check it out. WMA Rogers LTD. We're starting to dive deeper into some of these tangles. We're just going to unclass. That does help a lot. I always appreciate your guys' advice on how to untangle jewelry as well because it sure can be a pain. A needle is another good way to get these untangled, especially these chains that like to get really tight and tangled together. It looks like this one actually comes undone as well. Let's see. Okay, so it's actually kind of giving me like a Pandora look. But we would have that marking for Pandora. And I'm not seeing any markings on this one. All right, I'll do that one for $3. We have some more earrings in here. Also this. Looks like a dove. I'm going to add that one to the earring pile. Now this one looks like stainless steel. Gold plated. We'll check it with the magnet. All right, the O-ring is magnetic, but the charm itself I think is stainless steel. So it's not going to be magnetic. Elegant design there. I'll do that one for $3. Next, we have a very bouncy, vibrant blue bracelet. This is something my daughter would definitely gravitate towards. She's definitely my rainbow sunshine girl. So I'm going to put that to the side for her. Looks like brass bangle here with a twisted little knot up there. I'll do that one for $2. And the brass items do resell. They're not my higher resellers. Sometimes I add them also to jewelry lot boxes. Always love the vintage looks. This is definitely giving me that vintage, maybe 80s style. I'll do this one for $3. Another earring going to the earring lot. All right, we do have a mark on here. Premier Designs. And Premier Designs can be a great item for resale. Love the matte and the shiny look on here. I'll do this one for $5. All right, another Pandora look with these glass looking beads down here. But there definitely would be a mark if it was Pandora. And it would normally be on the sides here. And I don't see any marks on those sides. But this definitely feels glass. Let's check it out. Glass reading on that. 
and very vibrant colors again lovely spring colors i'll do that one for one dollar now we have a charmed necklace it's got a tooth a horseshoe elephant some shell there as well i'll do that one for two dollars we're going to have some broken bits here. I'm going to add these to the earring pile, earring lot pile. Another one for the earring lot. All right, we've got some of that copper look here. I like the blue inlays in there as well. This is a nice necklace, nice thick chain. And I'll do this one for $2. No, no name on there. Bracelet. I'm going to put that one in a lot for $1. I do also offer holds. So if you guys are interested in some pieces and would like for me to hold, I offer a two-week hold. But if you would like for me to hold longer, I am willing to do that as well. And I'll do this one for $1. Some more broken bits and earrings adding to the pile. Now I can scoot this over a little bit more. All right, got two pieces here. Large, oversized earring with some florals and some leaves going on. We're going to add that to the earring pile. Oh, got some beautiful cloisonne on that one. It looks like the gold plating is starting to wear on there. Thinking this is not a silver chain. Yeah, it is magnetic. I love the pendant on there. I'll do that one for $3. All right, looks like this was part of a 18 pair set and they're hypoallergenic. So I do like to keep these for my daughter just to play in. These would be really fun for her. These are just beads, but they do give me a pearl look. Yep, just some beads. I'm going to add that to the lot. Right, we're going to dig in here and see what other pieces we can get out of the tangle. Right, first up. Right, we got Avon. Oh, so it pushes out the back. That is so fun. And you can switch out. It looks like maybe some of the jewels in there. That is very clever. Love that design. Try and get it back in there. Very cool. I like that. Another vintage look. I'll do that one for $3. And I do sell vintage lot boxes. So if you're more interested in just receiving those vintage pieces, those have been my top selling boxes as of late. And I'm a sucker for vintage too. So I love making those boxes. And if you would like a custom box, you can always email me for those. Blue, almost purple shade there. I like the gold chain with it. I'll do this one for $4. And I love pearls. And this is definitely giving me like a 19, okay, 1928. The drop on that is so elegant. Definitely giving me a 90s vibe. I loved all the florals and all the pearl looks. I'll do that for $3. All right, this looks like it's probably going to be a mood necklace. And it sure is. I'm going to give that one to my son. He will definitely be very intrigued with that. Looks like we're going to be missing quite a bit of those maybe pearls and crystal drops. So I'm most likely going to add this one to the lot. And maybe into a jewelry jar. Okay, 925 chain. So yeah, I will most likely add this either to a lot or I'll remove 
each one of these pieces and add it into a bead jar. Beautiful abalone inlay. Gorgeous set there. Really like the gunmetal gray with that. A-I-A-M. Beautiful. I've gotten a handful of their pieces before and great for resale. I like that one a lot. Let's go back to the gold earring. any marks on there and it is magnetic so going to the earring pile beautiful tiger's eye very shiny I'll do this one for eight dollars wire wrap necklace it's so nice to see one not tangled up in everything else these are usually my biggest tangles I'll do this one for $2. Right, another necklace I'm going to add to the lot for $1. Fun pearl layered necklace. Looks like it might be coming a little unraveled or tangled up into other things as well. I'll do that one for one dollar. Okay, this is going to be a bracelet. Kind of matches that necklace. I'll do that for one dollar. We've got the costume piece here. I'll do that for one dollar. seed bead necklace, layered seed bead necklace. Kind of tangled up into itself, but still very wearable. Needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. I'm gonna do this one for $2. All right, again, we're just gonna try and find some of the pieces that are not tangled up into everything. Move some of those broken bits out of the way. Another costume pendant necklace going to the lot for $1. And this one actually has a name on there. So Avon. Another vintage Avon look. And maybe an anklet or bracelet. Another Avon look to me. I'll do that one for $1. All right, I've been avoiding this tangle, I think, as long as I possibly can. So wish me luck as I untangle this. up we have a ribbon necklace it's got some tangles in there and it looks like there's going to be some chipping so we're going to put that in a lot 
that's another fun one either for my niece or my daughter. So we're going to set that to the side for them. She already asked me if I was going to have some things set aside for her. So I definitely need to deliver. This is fun. It's got the little beaded drop pieces there. I'll do that one for one dollar. We've got our Jewish star here. Beautiful plated piece. And there was a tag on here. Another Avon piece. Beautiful. I'll do that one for three dollars. Lots of vintage goodies in here. And Dayton always does give me a lot of vintage pieces and I do appreciate that especially when they're wearable. Another fun costume piece. I'll do that one for two dollars. We've got the EL Erica Lyons. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And another bold statement necklace. I'll do that one for $2. Got like the Lariat look or Lariat look with the dyed Howlite. I'll do this one for $1. Got an arrow necklace. Another classic Y2K look going to a lot. We've got a statement piece here. Looks like it might be broken off, maybe. I'm not sure. So I'm going to add this one to a lot. Another pearl statement necklace going to a lot. Some more earrings to add to the earring pile. And it looks like we're going to have some Alex and Ani. I'll do that one for $2. Okay, this is Excedra. I think it might be some multiple charms on there. So I'll do that one for $1. I'm such a sucker for abalone. I found some on the beach last year and I was so ecstatic and nobody else was as excited as I was. But I love abalone. I think it's gorgeous. It is such a stunning piece and a great way to add some vibrant color to an outfit. So I'll do this one for $3. Give Another glass bead look. These are some nice, chunky, colorful beads. I'll do this one for $1. All right, so we've got some of that milky milk glass look. And it's tangled into this necklace, and I didn't have the patience to untangle that one. So I'll do this one for $1. We've got some more earrings here. I like that clay floral look. And I don't think we've gotten any earring matches so far, but I do love some single earrings and I like to mix and match and my daughter loves to mix and match. So just a fun way to use those single earrings. I don't see any markings on this for silver. So let's check. It is magnetic. So I'm going to do that one for $1. This almost feels aluminum. It's got some like bluish baby blue looking rhinestones in there. I'll do that one for $1. All right, I love these little, almost looks like the candy that gets rolled up and they make all the really cool shapes and designs in there. So definitely giving me those Christmas looks. Add that to the earring pile. Looks like it's got a little wire band wrapped in there. So I'll do that one for $1. All right, blessed necklace. I'll put that one in a lot. It is pretty beat up. All right, this broke off of each other. So let me get my loop out. Okay, so it just says the patent number. And clips together. It's broken, so I'm going to add it to a lot. Another magnetic chain going to a lot. Got a key necklace here. I'm going to add it to a lot. It's pretty beat up. And again, don't be discouraged if you're just finding these costume pieces or these vintage pieces. They do sell. They're my best sellers. So definitely keep your head up. You can do this and definitely be creative when you're trying to sell your jewelry. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Another fun costume piece. Another Avon look to me. I don't see any markings on it though. So I'll do that one for $1. I've right, got a silver tone chain. 
and is very shiny no markings on it and it is magnetic so i'm going to add it to a lot i do keep a lot of those chains so if you're new to reselling i highly recommend you keeping those chains you're going to find a lot of single pendants in here i don't think i see a mark on there so i'll do that one for one dollar i had to make piles all around me so we're just going to be reaching all around to get these piles I'm gonna add that one to the lot. Fun layered look here. And I'll do this one for $1. Another set of clips. All right, another patent number, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, patent number on that one. I'll do those for $1, another vintage look. And finally, the flamingo. We got the flamingo out. And I cannot tell you how much I love this piece. And my daughter, if she sees it, she's also going to love this piece. And it's got the pull through. So no chain on there. No clasp on there, just that pull through. And lovely jewels. It's all intact, very shiny. So I'll do this one for $8. Great for summer. We actually got to see the flamingos at the Columbia Zoo already this summer, and my kids love flamingos. It was really cool. They were making their nest, and it was very fun to watch. I'll do this one. I'm going to add this one to the lot. It's got that broken piece there. Plastic flower necklace for $1. All right. Is this origami owl? Let's see. The origami owl ones sell very well. Adult jewels is what it says. So it's faith, religion in there. Definitely give me that origami owl look. I'll do this one for $5. Got a little tangle in here I didn't realize. I'll add that to the lot pile. All right, no marking on this one, but these flat matte gold pieces, a lot of those can be Susan Shaw, and those go for a very pretty penny. So be sure to do your Google image searches. I love using that app. It's a free app, and it's something that I use all the time, especially to do research on here and getting those comp prices. So I'm going to add this to a lot, though. It Susan Shaw would not have so much of this fading going on, so I'm going to add that one to the lot. I've right, got a new... All right, we have a new a tag here $14 looks like it's broken though so I'm gonna add it to the lot as well another costume statement y2k look I'm gonna add that one to a lot it looks like it's pretty much intact so I'll do that one for one dollar all right I love this little jar here yl very curious to see if there's anything inside All right, so it looks like there was just cotton stuffed in there to kind of look like a jar. That is so fun, and I'm definitely going to keep that for my son. Another one he will definitely enjoy. Okay, so that's Sack, which is Avon SAQ. I'll do that one for $1. All right, I think that's it for our piles. I'm probably just going to go ahead and dump the rest of this out. If you watch my channel, you guys know this is my favorite part of the box. This is where all the goodies usually are. We've got some broken bits down here, so I'm just going to leave the rest of those in there. I've got broken pieces all over my office right now. Push this to the side and start. Another broken piece we found earlier. I'll add it to the lot. Some fun jeweled earrings for $1. Right, we've got our first baggie. We've got a couple baggies in here, so let's open this one up. Very dainty chain here. Just 10K. It doesn't have like a 120th or anything. It does have some kind of marking. I can't quite tell. 
what the marking is, but it's Mark 10K. So we'll test that with our acid. And I am almost out. I do recommend you guys replace those acids every year or two. You can definitely follow the care instructions on those acid pieces. Let's see how she holds up to 10K. And you're going to notice fairly quickly it will start to fade away if it is not real gold. And this one's staying on very nicely. So we're going to say that is 10K. Awesome piece there. We'll set this to the side because I do see this little gold pendant. So let's test this one. Okay, we've got another 10K mark. So we've got 10K gold. And again, it's got another little marking down there, but I can't quite make it out. And it looks very similar to the chain. So I guarantee those are going to be together. Let me go ahead and test this one while I've got the acid on there. Let that sit for just a moment and then we'll check those stones. That is adorable little 10K. It's been a little while since I found some gold, so that's a great find. Love finding gold. All right, both of these are staying on there. So we've got ourselves some 10K gold. And 10K necklaces like this usually sell between two and $300, so that's a great find. Let's test these stones. All right, probably going to be some CZ in there. Not getting much of a reading over glass. So I'm going to think maybe those are CZ. So I would probably bump that back down to maybe the $100 to $200 range. Gorgeous with a matching chain. Super dainty chain there. Lovely piece there. The piece is going to pay for the entire box. So awesome find. We have another necklace. All right, we've got a marking on here as well. All right, this one's marked 14K. So 14K, potentially white gold. So we'll test that. Let's check the necklace. It's also got a mark on it. 18K. And that might be an E next to it, but it's super faded. So I do see two lines, but I can't make out anything else. So we'll test that one as well. But let's go ahead and test this one first. All right, do you see it? it's still on there? You can't really see it because I scratched it so lightly. But that is a great find there. For some 14 karat gold again this light is not doing well with that white gold you can barely see it let's test that stone it looks like it's going to be a purple stone okay great reading on there and test the chain So I'm thinking that's going to be the electroplated, which is very similar to gold plating. Still great for resale. It's not going to give you, obviously, as much resale value, but great piece there. And what a find. So lovely piece. And again, that stone is actually pretty purplish. So what stone do you think we're dealing with here? I had a pretty good reading on there. Awesome find there. So two gold pieces. Let's see what else. We have in the bag. This is a thick pendant. Don't think I see any markings on the pendant. So let's check the necklace. I don't think I see any reading on that necklace. It is magnetic. So I'll do that one for $2. 
And we've got a chain here, box chain. All right, 925 Italy, and it's actually got a CW mark on it as well. I haven't seen the CW before, but nice silver chain. Got this plastic beaded necklace. Got some yellowing going on. Not sure if that's supposed to be the color, but it looks a little more white on the inside right there. So I'll do this one for $3. Of course, you definitely need to test those vintage plastics for Lucite. Uh, those pieces can be a pretty penny. All right, looks like we have found a match to our magnetic gold hoop earlier. And another hoop that matched from earlier. Leather treaty bracelet. What does it say? Angels fly, so can I. Another fun one for my daughter. She loves unicorns. All right, earring. Gonna go to the lot pile. We got a V mark there. I always forget that V mark, but I love the Facebook identification group. It's a great group. It's a great resource for newer resellers. I'll do this one for $3. Another Avon look. I'll do that one for $3. Looks like we're going to have a big chain here. And some bell earrings. All right, we've got some layering on this necklace. I'm going to add it to a lot. I'm not a huge fan of all those layers, especially with shipping. I'm going to put this one in a lot, the earring. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one for my son. He does kickboxing and jujitsu, so that'll be super fun charm for him to add to his bag. Love the pendant. Not a huge fan of this chain, but the pendant is stunning. It's got that wire wrapped look. It is magnetic. But I really like that matte gold tone. Very purple and shiny. I'll do this one for $3. Another statement necklace going to a lot for $2. Charm bracelet looks like Christmas charms. I'll do that one for $1. We found the match to that one at the beginning of the video. Ohio Music Education Coral. I'll do that one for $1. Got some more shell in that one. Looks like these are going to be some costume pearls for $1. Another bracelet I'm going to give to my daughter. I've got a drop, single drop earring. It looks like it's missing its necklace. Right, these look like maybe some quartz. Or some jade. Nice jade reading. Another one that I might add to a bead jar. This is going to go to a lot. It says BFF 925. I'll definitely need to do some cleaning on this one. Another 925 chain. Always nice to find those precious metals. All right, no locket on this one. I'll do this one for $1. Another pin for $1. Some more Alex and Ani, it looks like. And we found some more of those broken bits and some extra earrings, maybe another match to that Sonoma from just a moment ago. And I got my other Dayton box. As I said, I bought two of them. So I'm wondering if I'll find any of the matches in my box that I bought with this one. They both came from Dayton. So there is always hope. Sarah Coventry star necklace. I'll do that one for $1.
the most adorable little strawberry I've ever seen. And I'm probably going to give that to my kids or keep it for myself. I have an adorable little strawberry necklace that would be really cute with. I've got some earrings, matching earrings here. I'm going to put them in the earring pile. And this says 925. And always advise you guys to test your 925. Check it with a magnet. Check it with acid before you put it on your shops. Always better to find out if it's not real before you sell it. This is not magnetic though, so that's a good sign. Great find there. It's got some weight to it as well. It's giving me a silver look, but I don't see any markings on the other chain. Let's check it with a magnet. All right, it is magnetic, so we're going to add it to a lot. All right, got just one more baggie and a couple pieces left. Some pearl earring and then the last is our small baggie all right we just had the match for that just a second ago again i don't think i saw any markings on that one either you can check it with a magnet though it is magnetic gonna go to a lot all right looks like we're gonna have a reading in here 925 silver and it says chance made us sisters hearts made us friends beautiful i'll do that one for three dollars got some earrings here it looks like there's a match though looks to be costume so i'll do those for one dollar Got a marking on here. It says New York, and I can't quite read the cursive on there. Maybe Kiana, New York. And then C-O-C-E. Hmm. I will do some research on this one. And then the last two pieces here oh this is gorgeous with the opal and the gorgeous blue stones let's test those stones beautiful reading almost all the way into topaz i was thinking maybe some topaz gorgeous and of course the opal you're not going to get much of a reading on beautiful pendant there that's going to be a really hard one not to keep. Okay, 925 again. And it's got an AV mark, it looks like. An A with kind of like almost like a V, but it's still connected to the A. Beautiful. We got some really nice pieces today. Another 925 XL, so maybe an extra long. Gorgeous. That is such a stunning piece. All right, and lastly, we have a little bracelet. It looks like almost small enough for my daughter. Another Avon piece. Really nice Avon pieces today. So thank you all so much for joining. This was such an exciting box. And I am super excited to be doing our giveaway with this month. You guys know that I love doing those giveaways. They're always free. Just a way to show my appreciation, of course, for all the knowledge and support you show my channel. We found some gold pieces and some really nice resellable items, high-end pieces in the Dayton, Ohio box. And I can't wait to see what our next box holds for us. And stay tuned. We'll go ahead and announce our May giveaway. And so we have another super fun estate find that I found in a couple boxes ago. And I love these pieces. I love getting from estate sales. It's just such a fun way to try something different outside of Goodwill Blue Box. And this piece is a stunning piece. And I'm super excited to be doing another giveaway with you guys. I love doing these giveaways. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you all and all of your support and your knowledge.
This month we have a beautiful lab created diamond ruby necklace and it's pure silver with some gold plating this retails for about 70 dollars be sure to check the description where you can find out how to enter into this free giveaway happy mother's day to all the moms out there be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out and until next time